Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Force Feed for this Friday, February 10th. Today we will be discussing the slew of new trailers and gameplay videos for Ghost Recon Online, Mass Effect 3, Warp, and UFC Undisputed 3. We'll also be going over the first set of Gotham City Imposters DLC, yesterday's Activision Blizzard conference call, and Blizzard takes Valve to court over Dota. Today brings a heap load of new gameplay footage and trailers for Ghost Recon Online, Mass Effect 3, Warp, and UFC Undisputed 3. The Ghost Recon Online video goes over the three available classes in the game, which are Assault, Specialist, and Recon. We get to take a look at the different weapons and abilities available for each class. Now Ghost Recon Online will be having a closed beta that is scheduled to start on March 5th. You can register for the beta by heading on over to their official website. The Mass Effect 3 trailer features the female Commander Shepard. There's nothing new to take from this video except for maybe those of you who are excited about playing the game as a girl. The new Warp trailer shows off your ability to warp into your opponents and blow them up from the inside. Warp is a downloadable title coming to Xbox Live February 15th and will be later available on PSN and PC on March 13th. In the UFC Undisputed 3 trailer, MMA trainer Greg Jackson explains the game's decision tree. He goes over how to utilize the tree for the best possible outcome in-game. If you would like to take a look at any of that footage yourself, links are available in the video description below. The first set of Gotham City Imposters DLC is scheduled to release next month, and it will be free. This DLC will feature a new map on the 25th floor of the Gotham Times, the ability to join matches in progress, new weapons, support items, and more. For a full list of planned additions in this DLC, head to the official website, link available below. Yesterday, Activision Blizzard held their quarterly conference call going over financial earnings as well as discussing future plans. With it, we got the announcement of a new Call of Duty title coming this year, as well as discussion of Blizzard's plans to release two games in 2012. Diablo 3 is being aimed for a Q2 release, and besides that, we expect to see either StarCraft II's Heart of the Swarm or World of Warcraft's Mist of Pandaria. Now, I personally am, of course, very excited for Diablo 3's impending release. Besides that, which other title do you think we will see from Blizzard this year? Will it be Heart of the Swarm or Mist of Pandaria? Also, what do you guys expect from the new and upcoming Call of Duty title? Blizzard is going to be taking Valve to court over the Dota trademark. Blizzard filed a notice of opposition with the U.S. Patented Trademark Office attempting to block Valve's registration of the word Dota. Given that the word stems from a community mod made by a Blizzard game, Blizzard states that they have rights to said word. Given that the original Dota was made with a mod in a Blizzard game, do you think that they have rights to the word? Or do you think those rights belong to the community members who made that game and have since decided to work with Valve on producing Dota 2? Alright guys, that is going to do it for this episode of The Force Feed. Stay tuned next Monday for another episode keeping you up to date on all the most recent gaming news and announcements. Once again, this has been Force, and you've just been Force Fed. And now for the big question, Dota 2 or Blizzard Dota? Hmm.